it's time for the next phase of upgrades to the cargo camper. Check it out. Hey guys, I'm Kevin with Kemp Outside, your inside source for all things outside. Well, I'm very excited because today is a big day. Today is the day we do some upgrades to our cargo camper, our 7x14 cargo trailer that has been converted into a camper. If you're new to my channel and you haven't seen our video on our cargo camper before, I'm going to put a link right up here where you can check out our cargo camper. But basically, guys, I bought this trailer when it had already been converted into a camper. So the previous owners had installed a rooftop AC, a refrigerator, some cabinets, a sink, a microwave, and some lighting. And the great thing about the trailer was that it was really set up to work well, but only when it was on shore power. So obviously, when we're camping, we don't always have shore power, and so we wanted to increase its boondocking capabilities. So basically, guys, what we've done is we've lengthened the tongue, and we are ready now to install some storage boxes, a generator box. Uh, we're going to mount uh, some propane tanks. Basically, what we're going to do is we're going to make our trailer more suitable to off the grid camping, basically boondocking. We're gonna increase our ability to carry uh, fuel for the generator, increase our ability to carry fresh water, uh, increase our ability to carry propane, and then uh, we're also going to be able to install a 12 volt battery system eventually, and a whole bunch of other stuff. So today I'm in the Kemp bus because I am about to drive up to Brooksville where I'm taking the cargo camper to my buddy Evan England who uh, has done some welding for me before. If you've seen my video on building the front hitch for the van or lengthening the trailer tongue of the trailer, Evan is my fabricator extraordinaire. He's gonna build all the bracket systems and everything to mount all the stuff onto the trailer. So uh, let's get up to Brooksville and drop the trailer off and then see what Evan comes up with. Check it out. So I just got a message from Evan. He's 10 minutes out. He's bringing the cargo camper back so we can check out all of the options and upgrades he just did to it. I can't wait to see it. So guys, I am super excited. As you saw the trailer come in, I. It was my first glimpse since uh, since taking it up to Evan to see what he did. I'm super, super excited. So if you remember, I took the trailer up to Evan, what, last year to have the tongue lengthen. And you can check that out in this video. I'll put a link right up there uh, where you can check that out. The main reason for that was to repair a, a jackknife. We had a, a bent trailer tongue. But I, I at the time, I asked Evan, I said, hey, what if we mounted some boxes to the front of the trailer uh, a place to mount a generator, a place to mount some propane tanks. And Evan was like, sure, we can lengthen the tongue and, and get that stuff done. So we did the tongue lengthening and then it took me a while to acquire all the boxes and everything. I finally got everything ready to go. So this is what we've come up with. So I'm gonna have Evan kind of just tell you what he did. Evan, what was involved in, in, in all of this? Well, the first thing we had to figure out was with these large storage boxes, how we were gonna mount those to the trailer. I didn't really want to just bolt them to the structure behind the the sides of the trailers because it, they're not that strong. I mean, they're just there to hold up paneling. So I built these quarter inch thick steel frames that are bolt up underneath the trailer. They bolt to the frame and on top of the tongue. And they also attach uh, some support to, to the trailer frame inside. And then I wanted to make sure that the propane and the generator box had a place to fasten on top of them. So I went ahead and made a full cage around these boxes that they just slide into. And that gave it room for the generator to be on top and gave it room for the propane to bolt right on top. Also, 
Kevin had some ideas as where he could mount extra water and extra fuel. So check out what we have done to the sides of the trailer to do that. Yep, so let's go take a look. All right, Evan, so tell us what we've got on this uh, side of the trailer. So Kevin purchased four of this, what do you call these, jerry cans? Jerry cans. Is the normal name for them. Yep. So I needed a way to fasten these to the trailer. They don't line up perfectly to the vertical rails inside here. So I wanted to put horizontal rails on the trailer. So we got some one inch by one inch square tube that I put threaded inserts into the frame rails of the trailer and they're bolted up to it. And then it's all drilled and tapped so these racks can bolt right to the sides of those rails and they can be moved around if needed or anything can be added, but it's pretty modular. So I'm super excited about these guys. And then Evan gave me a great idea we're thinking about setting up a transfer uh, a transfer pump to basically pump gas straight out of these jerry cans up to the generator itself so I don't even have to unrack them and re-rack them. So I'm super excited about that. Stay tuned for a future video. Let's go check out to see how we mounted some water cans on the trailer. So one of the things that was really lacking on this trailer was our ability to carry any kind of fresh water at all. I've had these six and a half gallon Blitz water cans for years. And anytime I wanted to carry uh, water, I'd have to throw them inside the trailer. I got really tired of throwing them in the trailer. I kind of wanted to be able to have them outside and mounted on the trailer so that I could just pull up to a water fill station, fill my cans even without uh, unracking them and then having them at the campsite. So I got the idea of having these uh, buyer's products mounts for these Blitz water cans. So Evan, uh, want to tell us about how you got those mounted? Um, exactly the same way we did the other side. I just did a little shorter rails on this one. Uh, Kevin didn't want them in front of the window blocking his view. So I just did a little shorter of the same on the other side. There's threaded inserts into the frame rails of the trailers. And then the rails are bolted up to the side of the trailer and then the boxes are bolted to it. So it's pretty easy to ch change it up, move it if we need to make any changes. but these things lock on they don't go anywhere pretty neat little little deal on there for the water containers yeah i'm super excited about that and if i do end up picking up a third water can evan says that there's enough room we can squinch those together and put a third one in if i want to i only had two cans so i'm going to start off with two and see how that goes i'm definitely going to need more than 13 gallons of, of fresh water but 13 gallons is way better than zero so this is a real good start for us on being able to uh, have the capacity to carry some some more fresh water and really easy way to fill them up so i'm super excited about that and guys i am going to have product review videos for all this stuff so the buyer's products uh can mount on this side the race wheel jerry can mounts on the other side all the front boxes the uh, the storage boxes and the generator box uh, are all going to have uh, product reviews right here on kemp outside so uh, if you want to catch those videos, hit that subscribe, hit that little bell icon that notifies you when we release new videos and give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Guys, I'm super excited about this trailer. Uh, as you know, uh, I've said it many times in my videos before, I've really wanted to work on increasing the off-grid capacity for this trailer. This trailer works great when we're able to plug into shore power and have water hookup, but when we're off-grid, this trailer was severely lacking. And so this is a great start to being able to to boondock and, and be off grid and and have uh have some nice amenities guys we have a lot more coming for this trailer too we're going to put a 12 volt lithium battery system on here with solar power a dc to dc charge controller so we can charge the batteries off the tow vehicle uh, as well as being uh, able to uh, have a inverter that powers everything inside the trailer when we are uh, not connected to shore power, but with an automatic transfer switch so that when we plug into shore power, it'll automatically transfer over. So we have a lot of stuff planned for this trailer. So if you like cargo to camper conversions, you're definitely gonna wanna subscribe to Kemp Outside. If you wanna see a little bit more in depth uh, of the installation of these products, you can check out my YouTube channel, EMS Fabrication and Restoration. And when that video drops, when Evan gets that video posted, guys, if it's after this one, I'll be sure to add it as soon as it drops. If he posts it before I post this one, then you can see that video right up here. I'll put a link up there and down in the description below. Don't miss it. Evan is launching an all new YouTube channel. Evan does amazing work, guys. I have him do all kinds of stuff for me. He did the 
uh, front hitch mount on the van. Uh, he did the trailer tongue lengthening on this trailer. Anytime I need any kind of metal fabrication or anything, Evan's the man. There's nothing he can't do. And so if you're ever in the Tampa Brooksville area and you need work done, definitely contact Evan and have him see what he can do for you. All right, Kevin. Hope you enjoy the trailer. Looking forward to seeing videos of you using it out in nature. Absolutely. I didn't I didn't do all this for it to just sit and be a barn queen. We are going to get her out and get her exploring. We got a lot of places we want to go. Guys, thanks for watching Kemp Outside. We exist to help moms and dads take their kids camping, hiking, fishing, learn about nature and develop a conservation ethic. We want to help you get you and your kids outside. So if you have any questions about converting an old cargo trailer to a camper, drop something in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. Or you can connect with us on our other social media. We're on Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, and Twitter, or our website at KempOutside.com. Guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Thank mm -hmm. you.